I'll show you a little bit about uh, Amazon Echo, kind of how I have it set up. Alexa, turn on interwebs. The lights come on in the den. Okay. The lighting is optional. So we got home theater PC channels selected on the TV. Computers booting up. Pioneer soundbar comes on. And here we go. We're at the login screen. So I gotta log in there. Alexa, turn off the den. Okay. Alexa, set the den to 30%. Okay. So the lights come on at 30%. Alexa, set the den to 100%. Alexa, turn off Den West. Okay. See, those are still on. Alexa, set Den East to 20%. Sorry, I couldn't find a device or group name Danny's in Greg's profile. See, I have to pronunciate it properly. Alexa, set Den East to 20%. Sorry, I couldn't find a device or group named Dan Easton Greg's profile. Yeah, it's not understanding me. Alexa, turn off Den East. Okay. <laughs> See, she understood that. Alexa, set Den East to 20%. Okay. And she worked that time. So, a little bit of trial and error involved. Um, let me go ahead, I can't see my mouse cursor for some reason. Alexa, stop, give the computer time. I actually, I let it start it up on its own, but I shut it down just because I don't want to do a power off shutdown. But then I, I hit shut down and then I go, Alexa. Turn off the interwebs. So now the TV will go off, the sound bar, okay. and you'll see the blue light on the computer went off. Uh, that's using the SmartThings hub. I'm going to integrate the Ecobee thermostat. I have a multi sensor here, and that's also using the Harmony Home hub right there. Uh, which is how it automates the TV and the sound bar and everything. Also have the Cree connected smart LED bulbs here at the front door in the garage. The front garage. So these are actually set to come on at 30 minutes before sunset and stay on till 30 minutes after sunrise so I can actually override it with the smart things hub and turn it on or off anytime I want I can tell Alexa to turn it off or on and I can uh, automate it you know based on whatever conditions I choose so that's it for now